It's like nails on a chalkboard seeing how he's treated. I'll say that. I mean, it, 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 yeah, it goes against the grain of everything that I try to do and the space that I hold for people. It's no awareness, zero, from said provider that reeks. Okay. Hello again, beautiful people. I'm David Lovely, the integrative therapist here at the AMA Clinic, and I am back doing another reaction video to one of Ren's videos. Our lovely social media director continues to invite me to check these out, and so, yeah, we're gonna do Sick Boy today. And again, just is because it's a short one, I may pause it, I may not, <clears throat> just to wait and, and address it, everything at the end, but um, yeah. Let's see where this goes. Hi, Ren. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is making new Looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, them so Post a boy, pass out, white noise, quick fix, snake oil I'm about to break boy Oh, what a shame, he's in pain, have another go Take another pill, here, take a couple more Let's see how you're doing in another week or so You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show Derealization, medical patient, losing patience with the process Walking hand in hand with Satan, complications with the medication Inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation Building up a toleration Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground I've been screaming, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound I've been looking for a way out, but I always seem to drown Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so Good what I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, I can't really... Okay, I gotta stop it. <laughs> so initially, um, it's like nails on a chalkboard, seeing how he's treated. Just being told what he's experiencing, what he's going through, and what his um, affliction, ailment, condition... Uh, what his mind is doing to him and that just uh that bothers me i'll say that i mean just plain and simple it, it, it's like it, yeah it goes against the grain of everything that i try to do and the space that i hold for people it's it's not about me telling you what's wrong with you it's about listening to where you're at and being able to try to meet you there and see where we can go comfortably not just prescribing you this direction, medication, diagnosis. Um, and I mean, and seeing him, it, it, what it appears to me and how I'm reading into this is like, there's so much tension happening within him that, I mean, there's disassociation. He's not comprehending what she's saying because the pain, suffering, sickness whatever is impacting him is just very great and there is no awareness zero from said provider to be able to be compassionate empathetic um, just present with him and all of that just to me that reeks that's not medicine that's not health care that's not mental health care that's just putting you in a box and cookie cutter feeding you um, what I think is wrong with you rather than being a partner in that journey with you. So, yeah, I couldn't wait to say that. <laughs> I couldn't wait to say that to the end. It's like, ooh, that's hard, that's hard to observe and watch. Uh. Experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. 
What can you tell me about your childhood? I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus hypocrite. How can you sit there with that smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. Push it down in public, quick pose for the pick boy. Record label me. Things that come on the fire, your gift boy. Why are you so upset? Don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slit throat. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. As the people of old, we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told. Counterintelligence is like a behold. Rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold. And we bleed it for wealth. We bleed it for fame. But when you bleed it, can you tell me what the fuck will remain? And I'm bleeding myself. I'm bleeding my brain. While I'm bleeding, I'm the reason. Cause I'm doing the same. Yeah. There's a lot in there. Um, you know, it's interesting the depiction of turning the therapist into, or the provider, whatever they, they are, into a. A pig. I'm sure, there's symbolism there or meaning behind that, but <clears throat> you know, just pushing a a system that is you know monetarily focused. Um, it, it's just not, again, it's not health. It's not healthcare. It's not medicine. It, it doesn't get to the root. And then, two, something else that just troubles and bothers me in in seeing this is again the therapist telling. Ran where he needs to go in childhood, and you know that's that's a journey. If that's where it's gonna go, it doesn't. You know, you don't just jump into that. But it's yeah, it's kind of hard to watch um, from a therapist from my side of, of the couch. Like, no way, no how. Uh, you can see how it can lead to a bad. Bad taste, a bad name, and ultimately just no real health or well-being. So, gosh. Uh, mm. Gosh, what else? I mean, there's so much in that. <laughs> He's very poignant in talking about just draining the resources of the earth. And all for what? What's left? If that's all we're doing is just taking and taking and taking. You know, and if we're just taking and taking and taking from ourselves, or we're being taken from, you know, where does that leave us for you know, healing and, and growth? So, oh, man, very poignant. And again, this is different than the other ones that I've watched. I mean, here he's, well, he's, he's wrapped a little bit in some of the other ones, but more so in this one. But, um, Again, musical genius, not really interested in <laughs> mainstream stuff, doing his own thing in his own way. And uh, yeah, pretty powerful. But man, that's hard to watch and see from, uh, from this side of the couch, really. Uh, yeah. Not happening here. Um, mm. Look forward to your guys' comments and feedback. And again, if you haven't checked out our information, you know, we do things differently here at the Atma Clinic. We really, really try to look and meet you where you are and get into the root cause of whatever condition cause that you're experiencing. And so I invite you to check out some of the other videos. Dr. Sandal's got a wealth of information and we as a team here really put patient care first. You guys matter. And it's about really getting you healthy and well, not how long can we keep you here? How can we do things to profit? You know, we truly want to shift that paradigm, and it's about health and well-being. So check us out. Like, subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts. We'll see you again.